Until 100 years ago, people thought that the atom was a bit like a pudding. They called it a plum pudding at the time. And it was made up, it's like a sphere, like a circle or, or a ball, with charges dotted around inside of it. And everybody thought this was a good model of what the atom actually looked like. Then came along in Rutherford, exactly 100 years ago, he did an experiment with a few assistants, and he discovered and shattered this structure of the atom and came up with a different one. This is what he did. He fired alpha particles at a thin gold leaf foil. So here's what he thought the gold leaf foil looked like, according to the plum pudding model. He got alpha particles, which on, this is not a scale, are much, much smaller, and made up of two protons and two neutrons, and he bombarded the thin gold with the alpha particles, and he observed it. He observed thousands and thousands of these particles, and you can see as they go through, most of them actually go through the gold file. They actually pass straight through. Then every now and again, you'll find that one of them might be deflected. So if you watch this one, it'll be deflected backwards. What does this mean? It means that the path of the alpha particles themselves look a little bit like this, where most of them go through the thin file, and only one or two come back. In fact, what he concluded was only about one in 8,000 came back, bounced back, where really the plum pudding model, would you would expect them all to bounce back. A bit like firing tennis balls at a wall, you'd expect them all to bounce back off this solid. So the conclusion here, what Ernest Rutherford came up with, very important discovery, is that the atom is actually made up of small, positively charged nuclei, shown here red dots, and the gap between them is mainly air, mainly not air, sorry, mainly space. So the alpha particles can actually just go straight through them because there's nothing to stop them. And he showed that these atoms, the nuclei of the atom is very, very small compared to the space between them because of them going through. So Rutherford came up with this structure of the atom, very much like the solar system, where in the middle you've got the nucleus, which is made up of protons and neutrons, so that's compared to like our sun, and around the outside, orbiting them, is the electrons.